everyone this is mohit and welcome back to engineer tech up channel so i'm going to share at and t interview question for it automation test engineer to do eight year of experience guys and this is the latest question if you are attending your interview in automation profile so you are you will get the idea what type of the question they're going to ask in this you know current market okay so let's move in the first question the first question is your just once again your first question is tell me about overall experience roles and responsibility and a skill so guys if you are a, a experienced candidate then you have to take care about of you know your experience your roles and responsibility and a skill because you know what happens sometime your profile is not matching with company requirement right so you have to give the pro you have to do the proper preparation it's not only for the preparation when you are going to ask you know when you are saying something then definitely interviewer will ask you the cross question like you are manual tester you are attending the interview in the automation profile right but you do not work in the real time right but i have already made the video for roles and responsibility what you have to speak you know if you are a manual tester and you are going to switch in the automation right so overall overall experience you can uh, tell like you having the around 6 year of experience like how much you are competent in the automation and how much like how many experience you have uh, how like you have worked in the automation it totally depend upon the your confidence your practice and all you cannot say blindly anything because you will stuck in the interview also you will stuck in your you know real time project as well okay so do the preparation and you have to speak proper uh, you know like your experience your roles and responsibility and skills again i will plan to make a separate video for roles and responsibility for automation test engineer but i had already made the video but yeah few more uh, things we will add so i will create another video for that okay so just refer my previous uh, i'll i'll tell you in the last of the video what like you have to uh, follow the playlist okay so let's move in the another question another question is can you explain your framework so you can just refer this video we having the around 46 minutes of the video we have clearly explained the uh, framework okay so i have mentioned this uh, link so you can just go and you can watch this video you will get this link in the description okay so sorry guys so this is your second question third, third question is what is oop concept where you have to use in your project explain first of all you have to uh, learn what is the oop concept if in this video i'm not able to explain what is the oop concept and all you can refer this link you will get the very clear picture about of what is oop concept in the java now where we can use in your project right so in oop concept we have a pro uh, we have an object we have a class we have inheritance polymorphism abstraction you know uh, encapsulation inheritance right so if you don't know what is the oop concept then it's difficult to understand while writing the code in the selenium you're not able to explain that when you are writing web driver driver equal to new chrome driver so here we are also following the oop concept right web driver is your interface driver you are holding the subclass type of an object right so this is called app casting while doing the execution we are following the polymorphism if you know the concept then you are able to understand this second like we can create a base class in automation framework to initialize web driver interface web driver base properties file excel in the base class while extending this so here we are performing what inheritance we extend the base class in the another class such as like test and utility class we use implicit weight in selenium like we have an implicit weight in example of overloading right in explicit weight we use the different type of the stem like 
time stamp like uh, second, minute, hours. So this is the example of overloading. Action class in the test ng also the example of overloading. Assert class. Assert class in the test ng also the example of overloading. If you are doing the proper practice and definitely you will understand this. Declaring a matter in the child class which is already present in the parent class is called method overriding. Example to get to navigate method, right? So this is the navigate method of the different driver in Selenium. So in all the classes in the framework are the example of encapsulation. In POM class, we declare data member using the at the rate find by initializing of the data member will be done using the constructor and utilize those in method, okay? So let's move in the another slide. So another question is, what is interface and abstract class? I have already mentioned, you know, this uh, example, I have already discussed this question in my last video. I have a disk. Uh, if you want to explore your interface and abstract class, you cannot stuck in any interview. Please follow this link. You will get all links in the description. So just you can watch and you can explore. Not only you can under, you know, like understand the theory. You have to write the code. Like someone will ask you, can you write the code for the interface abstract class? Then you guys are able to write it. So that level of the preparation you have to do. Okay. So let's move in the another slide. What is protected in Java? Actually, there are four accessibility modifier in Java. We have a public. Public means you can access. You can access from anywhere. Private means access only within the class and protected. What is the protected? Access within the package and and to the subclass outside the package. You can search is some example of protected where you can use the protected. Okay. So now another modifier is is your default modifier accessible only within the package so default is only accessible within the package so let's move in the another slide okay another question is can you explain some method in rest assured okay guys so right now uh, api testing is mandatory a skill if you do not mention the api testing in your profile your less possibility your profile will be shortlisted if you don't know the api testing please learn the api testing manual and automation both manual you can use the postman tool automation you can use rest assured library for the java okay if you are have a background for java selenium right so they have asked in the rest assured is a library like a selenium can you explain some methods so like many methods are there i have already uh, given the official documentation for this you can just visit this official documentation okay you will get many methods some of the method just um, i have mentioned like we have a get method this method send to the get request to the specific uh, specified the in point and retrieve the response now we having the post this method is send a post request to a specified the in point with the given payload if you want to explore this, I have uploaded around 46 video for the API testing manual with automation where I have written the code for get, post, put, delete and a status. Every like many, many a script we have done over there in the rest assured. Okay, you can explore there. So I will show you the in the last what is the important playlist for like this is useful for you guys. Okay, so we have a put method. This method sent to the put request for the specified endpoint within the given the payload then we have a delete method this method send the delete request to the specified endpoint and we have a status code this method is used to validate the status code of response okay in this uh, if you will go for official documentation we having the many things okay you can just explore this all the links you will get in the video description okay we having the many more question guys so some of the question is i have already explained or if you're not able to understand then you can google it and you can get the output sorry you will get the answer okay no problem at all because mostly question i have already covered so what is the functional testing this is the manual testing part what type of the testing you have done in your project okay 
so again uh, if you are a manual or if you are automation testing you have to explain generally we do the functional testing right sanity testing or smoke testing if you are on the on automation then regularly we are involving in the regression so it totally depend upon your project do you know ci cd pipeline so you have to learn the jenkins if you don't know explore the jenkins part how do you execute how you are executing the test cases that is important question guys so this is our job to execute our test cases as per the requirement so are you actually they have asked for the automation in automation thing like how you are going to execute your script right so see when a script development will complete we are executing in our local if everything will work fine right we can push our uh, changes in our git then we have a pr command pr review command once we are everything is finalized we are going to merge in our master so how we are going to execute your complete suit and all right so if someone will ask how you are executing like individual script and all so while developing the script we do in our local but in the automation suit we can either you can run you are you know it depend upon the setup if you have a ci cd pipeline automatically trigger the job and it will generate the report right or you can say if you do not use ci cd pipeline then you can say just i have executed in our local and say the report to our stakeholder okay so it totally depend upon how your setup is there right how to handle pop-up in selenium so i have already discussed you guys can just watch my previous video and write the code to find the duplicate character in hash map so they have asked uh, you know again this is the repeated question and this question they have asked in the many interview okay so you could see like what the level of the question they are going to ask in the interview okay so that's it guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel press bell icon to get new video notification i'll show you some important playlist okay okay so you can just go to youtube and search engineers tech hub okay you will get this engineer tech hub this is my channel name you can go this playlist okay in this playlist you will get many things if you are attending the interview like if you are a manual tester so like we having the question related like you know your roles and responsibility what is your day-to-day -day activity what the challenges you have faced in your automation project right so every common question we have what we are doing in the agile if you are an automation test engineer so everything you will get in this playlist if you want to explore rest assured or api testing so i have created a you know from very beginning like what is api what is json like basics part of the api, API and and postman i have covered and i have also covered rest assured as well so we having the around 46 video till now i have uploaded still i have to upload but you can start if you want to explore so you can you will not stuck any api testing related code i have uploaded you know top level of the mnc company just you can go through this what type of the question they are asking in the interview will get the clear picture idea about that okay so that's it guys so these are the important playlist you will get many thing in my youtube channel like be having the programming question whatever the common question they're going to ask okay so that's it okay guys see you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>